we're down here at the uh, Sebring Show, and you have a special need as far as an aircraft goes. Can you explain that? Uh, I wrecked a car in 99, and I'm paraplegic. So basically, I had to adapt something to take care of the rudder pedals, and the thr I put the throttle on the control as well. Have you uh, been involved in aviation before? Like, um, no, I'm, you... I'm fairly new. Uh, I've had my pilot's license about four months mm -hmm. only. Uh, trained at Hanson Air. Uh, what was the question? <laughs> involved in aviation then I mean just four months ago you woke up one morning and said hey I'm gonna start flying um no actually well I've always been slightly interested in aviation I wanted to fly like trikes and whatnot and then I've heard a few years ago that they you know done away with you made it where you had to have a license now for an ultralight so I thought you really couldn't fly and then actually I was on a flight back a commercial flight back from Atlanta and I met Mitch Hansen who owns Hanson Air and he was telling me that they had a plane with hand controls, and I went and checked it out. And you know, I, I, like I said, I had no idea about the light sport class at that time that you didn't, you know, have to have the medical and whatnot. So basically, you started to fly. I, I guess it was on a Skyro that you initially. Yeah, the Skyro 600. Because it has the uh, left and right hand uh, controls, and uh, with the steering wheel, nose wheel, you can actually just kind of control with the rudder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the uh, Skyro. Yeah, I think that's the only factory plane with hand controls up to this point. I guess this would be number two, <laughs> the one we, one we designed. So how did you get involved with Paradise then? Um, I, I immediately, you know, as soon as I started flying, I knew I was wanted to buy a plane. So I went to Sun and Fun, Oshkosh, and, you know, looked at every light sport several times. And I just kept coming back to the Paradise. Uh, seemed like the plane for me. What, what's special about it that fits the needs that you have? Uh, well, it... It's a really lo several things drew me to it. Uh, you know, it's a, it's really large inside, has a lot of room behind the seats. It was originally a four place plane. Uh, I was looking for something that I could get my wheelchair in and put it behind the seat. Uh, also, I like the long range of it, the all metal plane. Uh, also, the payload on this plane is rated higher in Brazil, so it makes you feel a little bit safer. You know, getting there in that thirteen twenty class. <laughs> Paradise and then have the, tell them what your needs were and then go um actually yeah I came down and and, and visit them in person here in, at Sebring uh, once I was you know I, I knew I was really interested in the plane and like I said I had it narrowed down to like two two different manufacturers at that point and and they were just really willing to work with me uh, you know explain what I wanted to do and and you know that it wasn't that complicated and they were really the, the only company that that stepped up and you know the other companies wanted to say oh well we'll sell you a plane and you know help you with it and you know help you design the control but paradise said you know we'll do it we'll do what you want that kind of thing so they were they were really really uh easy to work with now, who were you working with as far as getting the, the, the design change to fit the needs that you had uh well i worked with chris and paulo um but then of course noah is the main guy in brazil but you know i had to kind of go through chris and paulo because i don't speak portuguese but <laughs> but you know i would you know you know we went through all, all kind of different design changes on this thing tons and tons of email you know <laughs> all which had to be uh transcribed by by chris i guess and paulo to noah but noah was the one that actually designed the stuff i think uh, in brazil did it take, like, from the initial contact, to actually having an airplane that was able to do what you needed it to do? Not, not, I'm sorry, not very long at all. Uh, actually, only about three months, uh, I, three and a half months ago, I think I was down here, and it, they they really jumped right on it. Like I said, they they uh, knocked it out pretty quickly. I was surprised. <laughs> Control system wise, what exactly did they have to change so that you could operate the aircraft? Um, well, uh, I, I pretty much told them what I wanted and we did it. But they actually started with a control they designed for the left side uh, to control the rudder and throttle, and I really didn't like that. It, it would have made, made more sense uh, just because I had already been flying with those same controls, but for a four place plane, to me, it made more sense to have the rudder control in the center. So, what I've got is a push pull handle, a, a T handle, and a, you know, forward for right rudder backwards for left and then you twist it for throttle and then the, all the other controls are the same I did get rid of the pedals on the left side uh, just because I have no need for them but the right side you know, any pilot can fly from it's all normal on the right so how do we operate the brakes on the airplane um, the brake system um, basically I've got two handles here independent brakes for the left and right and then it's also got a parking brake uh, that you can lock it's just a handle that flips up you can reach right between your legs and grab it's uh, pretty easy it seems like it's gonna work out well uh, just pull up next to it, and uh, I did add one, one little, uh, I don't know what you call it, a oh shit handle, I guess, <laughs> where you can pull yourself into the plane. Um, 
And then I just lean the seat back, pull the chair across, put it behind the seat, ready to go. So, so the, the area in the back is where you're uh, carrying your wheelchair then? Yeah, it's definitely. That's a lot of what, a lot of the reason that I picked this plane is because of the large area behind the seat. A lot of these light sports just don't have any room in them. The plane that I trained in, that Sky Arrow, you know, there's you couldn't fit the chair and you and a passenger, you know, not not possible. <laughs> Being basically the first light sport aircraft that's been developed for uh, handicapped uh, individuals, has there been a lot of people uh, uh, approaching you uh, for how uh, it, it's uh, working for you? Yeah, I've actually uh, spoken with several people here, and um, I actually spoke with one guy that was designing his own hand controls for a plane that he built. But you know, everybody's kind of interested. See what, what 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 someone else is doing, and um, I think they'll probably end up selling a couple of these planes to, to more guys and chairs, just because, like I said, there's really not a good plane out there at this time with hand controls that you can put your wheelchair in in the back, you know. Now, how have you found the factory then? And by the sounds of it, you pretty well got a, a very uh, good working relation with. Yeah, yeah, I've, yeah I've, I've, like I said, I'm I'm very impressed with uh, Paradise so far. Everything's uh, everything's been good. They've done a beautiful job on the plane, and looking forward to flying. <laughs> Have you actually been in the airplane now and uh, got some hours in it? Yeah, I've only got maybe an hour and a half in it so far. Uh, we've went out twice. Uh, you know, still very minor little bugs to work out, but everything's everything's coming along great. And we flew it, it yesterday. And the airplane's living up to what you expected it to do when you... Uh... Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, it's just going to be a little bit of a learning curve because I trained on opposite controls. Uh, you know, I've designed them a little bit differently in this plane, so it'll be a small learning curve, but once I get it down, I, I don't anticipate any problems at all. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you.